A pidgin is nobody's mother tongue, and it is not a real language at all. It has no elaborate grammar. It is very limited in what it can convey, and different people speak it differently. Still, for simple purposes, it does work. And they often, everybody in the area, you know, learns to handle it, both old, both young, both the literate, both the illiterate. They try to handle it accordingly. You speak, they understand you. So it is not anybody's mother tongue and uh, it has no grammar elaborate. That is some of the, you know, conditions of a... Uh, or attributes of pidgin English or pidgin language. So, that is it. It is spoken in Nigeria and uh, mostly in all parts of Nigeria, in all the states. So, whether you are learned, whether you are old, you understand. So, here I'll be talking also, I'll be we'll be looking into another one statement or one sentence. I want chop or I be hungry. I want chop or I be hungry. Unlike the English word chop, which implies that something is being sliced or hacked off. But in pigeon, it means food. So I want chop or I be hungry simply means I want to eat or I am hungry. I want chop or I be hungry means I, 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 I want to eat food in pidgin English. But in the, you know, unlike the good English, word for chop simply means when you slice off something or hack it off. But in pidgin, it means food. I want chop or I be hungry means I want to eat food. That is the simple meaning when you speak it in pidgin English. Then, so, when you tell a typical Nigerian or every Nigerian that I want to chop, the person understands what you mean, that you are hungry. You are hungry. You want to eat. Yes. So, that is that. So, hope you guys are. So, now we shall be talk looking into another pidgin language. This one is a complimentary statement. Complimentary when you do something good or when you you know something perfect. You too much. You too much. This is pigeon for you are far too kind. You are far too kind. Or thank you. Thank you. Or better still, good job. Good job. So when somebody com want to compliment you in pidgin language, or when somebody tells you, oh boy, you too much, or oh girl, you too much, the person is simply saying that you are far too kind, or you did something great, or thank you, or good job, or great job. So it's like that. There are other pidgin words, you know, but for sake of this video, I just decided to bring out three that are also important or you hear often oh boy you too much or oh, get you too much so it's used in many fields and that is simply a complimentary word or complimentary greeting as well in pidgin language so oh boy you too much and then another word and then here again we shall be looking at a greeting sort of with question how you day how you day is a question this is pigeon for how are you either with your friends or in company of people you know you here could be singular or plural how you day how are you in english or you can better still say how now how now how now? How on a day? How on a day? How now? So you can put it that way. And then the answer is you can respond by saying I day, meaning I am fine. 
You can also say, I did, can't pay, meaning I am doing well. <laughs> so, when somebody asks you how you did in, in pigeon, you can answer, I did fine, meaning I am fine, I am great, I am doing beautiful, I am strong. That's just a simple answer. So, how you did, in, in, I mean, I did fine means I am fine. I am fine. I did can't quit. I am doing well. So this is the few ones we shall be studying today as far as pigeon is concerned. It's greeting and answer, asking you how are you and how you respond. So